Welcome back, folks. We are producing uh, broadband. Uh, what, what's it called? Uh, particle broadband. And we're producing 30 a second, so that is all good. And it's going out, and we are researching at a pretty nice pace. A pretty nice pace. But now the question becomes what's our next bottleneck what is our next bottleneck so we know that we're only producing half the casimir crystals that we need to do and we're only producing half the titanium glass that we need to do in order to support these guys so that's not so good so yeah plane filters are a problem Plane filters are a problem. But let's head over to... So, plane filters are only being produced to here. So, we, we, we're we missing some stuff. And what we're missing is... Uh, Casimir crystals. We need a lot more Casimir crystals. But... For now... We are researching, and I just want to head over to our science planet and take a look at that. So where is Mars 6? That looks so cool, man. Where is Mars 6? Mars 6 is right there. Let's head over there and take a look. Okay. Where are you, Mars 6? I can't see a damn thing. I went way too far, didn't I? That's Mars 5. Yeah, I went way too far. Where the heck did Mars 6 go? It's here somewhere. I think it's... Is it... Oh, there it is. There it is. Okay. So let's head down and see how we're looking. I mean, we're sciencing at a decent rate. We're sciencing at a decent rate. We are producing a lot of whites, but yeah, the bottleneck right now is purple. But that should help. But that that should be alleviated. That should be alleviated. So, blue, we have tons and tons and tons in storage. Red, we have tons and tons and tons in storage. Yellow, we have tons and tons and tons in storage. And green, we have tons and tons and tons in storage. And that's even though we're making our wonderful space warpers here, which we have 10,000 of, which is fantastic. I think the next problem that we're going to have is graviton lenses. We're not producing 30 a second for, to do that. And graviton lenses take these nasties, strange matter things. So maybe we should head over to uh, where is our black hole or our uh, neutron star? There's our black hole. And the neutron star is way over there. So the black hole is going to get going to be better for us. 
let's head over there and see how much unipolar magnet supply there is there. Because that's going to be important for our planning. So we can actually... Uh, where'd the black hole go? There. Let's... And we'll pin it as well. So now... Which is a really nice feature that they added. We can see where we're going. We have this line showing us that, we're hey, you're going here. Which is wonderful. Let's head out. I'll be back when we're about there. Alrighty, we are almost there. And let's just head towards this guy. And look at how much energy we still have left. We still have six... Uh, more than six gigajoules left. Even though this was like a... 20 light year warp. So let's head down. Nice landing. And let's take, let's take a look at the system here. Uh, there is only one planet, I think. And it has 2.9 million unipolar magnets. Okay. And they're, of course, all here, because that's the only planet there is. And where is the black hole? It's up there. Let's... There it is. Wow, look at that. That is pretty darn cool. That is pretty darn cool, man! Look at that black hole. That looks awesome. And we just got range utilization. So that is wonderful. Um... So, mining speed 190%. And we're only using 57.3%. So that effectively means that we have 6 million, give or take, uh, unipolar magnets. When we get this one done, we'll have even more. So I think we'll mine some unipolar magnets here. And there's a vein there. There's a vein there. There's also optical grating crystals here, which is not bad. Uh, where are the rest of the unipolar magnets? There's some there. Ah, screw it. Let's, um, let's find a pole and stick down a... I thought we were right at a pole. Fantastic. And we'll stick in you. We'll stick in you. We will request a local supply, remote demand. I will request 500. And uh, we will request uh, uh, let's not request any of that yet. We want you some belts, that's for sure. And we have enough miners, we have enough suns stars um, okay now we're gonna need another one here and uh, let's stick down the stars first. One, 
two, three, four. That'll do. That's 300 megawatts of power. I think that'll be fine. Uh, we want to request uh, antimatter fuel rods. We just want like a hundred. Uh, we want space warpers. Actually, no. Because what I'll do is I will just get the space warpers out from here. I'm going there. That's much nicer. And they're already here. Very nice. Cool, cool. Uh, we're gonna need some power. Stick some power here. Of course, we don't have any yet because we are not producing any yet, but soon we will be. Logistics. There. Let's stick some of you in there, and that'll power everything up. That will power everything up. Fantastic. So, that's that done. Did we get our... we did. Let's just grab all of them. Okay, time to find some unipolar magnets. The first batch is right there, and right there, and right there, and right there. Okay. So I think we'll put these two together, together with probably these titanium and the fire ice. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Now, what do these guys look like? Wow! They are funky. They are very, very funky. Cool! Alright, well... Uh, let's... Just flatten a bit here. Get some more... For soil power... Soil... Pile? to our stockpile. That was hard to say. And we'll stick down the tower right there. And then we'll give you some power. And that's just... Nah, I think we'll stick in miners here for this titanium and this titanium. So we don't need to have so many of the uh, wireless power towers. It's a weird name, wireless power towers, because I mean the Tesla tower is a wireless power tower too. And so why is the wireless power tower called a wireless power tower, and the Tesla power tower called a Tesla tower. That's a bit weird. In my view, you could have called it Tesla tower and Tesla tower Mark II. I think that would have made more sense. or recharge tower or whatever. This wireless power tower seems a bit weird. Okay. Well, that's one of them hooked up. All 
Alrighty. Let's do another one. This will be the titanium one. Because we want to get power down here. I'm not super worried about how many veins these guys hit. As long as all the veins are covered, I'm pretty much happy. Alright. So we can get you out to here. And we can get you out to here. And come in. Alright. Crossing a tectonic shift here, which is a little annoying, but it'll be fine. Okay, let's power you up. And then we'll set up this titanium vein as well. Why not? It doesn't take that much time to do. Oh, it's fine. Uh, we're not hitting that one vein there. Can we get that one vein included? We can. Nice. Let's do you, come over here, whoops, not that far, that'll do. some power. Oh man. There. Everything is powered. And haven't we received I'm gonna get a thousand because I haven't adjusted that tower yet, which is stupid. Because it's a total waste to have that many lying around here. Alrighty. And there. And you're not powered. There. Now that doesn't need to be one of those. Let's not waste the power. That was too far away, of course. There. Why are these guys not powered? you run out of... you have. That was rather quick, actually. I put three in there. That's ah, not that quick. Alright, more unipolar magnets. We're still researching, so we haven't run out of anything. We 
which is good. And more veins utilization will be very nice for us. Because we don't want these unipolar magnets to run out, then we're in deep shit. Once we have basically based our science or our production of uh, whatever it is that they're used in, I can't remember. Uh, once we base that production on them, then if they dry up, then we're in trouble. Now, oh, it's strange matter, isn't it? Yeah, it's particle containers. It takes ten for one. So that means that we'll be using 300 unipolar magnets a second. At least. Yeah, so we'll be using 600 because we need two of these per strange matter. Wow. That's a lot. That is a lot. Uh, unipolar magnets and titanium. And you need these guys. And you need these guys and these guys. And I think... Did I not put... I did. I did. All good. And we now have... Antimatter for a little while. Those thousand that just came in. Alright, we have more unipolar magnets over here and down here. So I think we'll send those into a tower. Uh, transportation. Gathering. We're going to need to fill in this. Fine. That's fine. That's fine. Alrighty. So, that's those in. Let's get some belts in. should be more, right? I think there's two more veins or something. Maybe three. Not entirely sure. We'll see. But we need them. And power of 
something up. You need you, you need you. And you need uh, you want to pull the magnets. Okay. So that's one, two, three, four veins that we'll, we've set up. We could set up optical grating crystals as well. Just don't feel like doing it right now, to be honest. No, I think we've got all the unipolar magnets. Nice. Yeah, we did. We did. Cool, cool. So they are going. And we're still sciencing, which is nice. And some titanium ore actually went out. That's surprising. That's surprising, actually, because I thought that we were mining way more than than we needed. Ah. This is filling up. All right, well, let's head back to Mars. Come on. Uh, we need to go to Mars. Shida, Mifak, Asha, Mars. There it is. Let's have a look at the black hole here. That is so cool. That is so cool. Look at all the ships that are traversing to Mars. Mars is by far our most busy system. No doubt about that. Very, very cool system. And uh, I think we'll call the episode here. It's a little bit short, but it is what it is. We're just flying back home. So thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.